Hi guys! On this video, I'll be demonstrating how to perform a scoliosis series from top to bottom on a digital room. Let's begin. First, let's talk technical factors. You will need a 14 by 17 inch cassette position lengthwise and an SID of 72 inches. Then, place your left marker on the downside area of the cassette. Make sure that you have a 72 inch grid and remove the handle from the bucky. Lastly, connect the scoliosis board to the floor so we can pick up the patient. Two hours later. Mrs. Quinones? Hi, my name is Kate Schlamm. I'm with X ray. I'll be performing your exam today. Can you tell me your date of birth? May I see your wristband? Thank you so much. So, if you would follow me. Once you're inside the room, explain the exam that you will be performing and answer any questions they may have. If it's a female patient, fill out the pregnancy questionnaire and then provide them with a gown and belongings bag. For the AP, the patient should stand with the back against the board and both hands on the handle. Ensure no rotation and that the patient is centered. Lastly, make sure that both feet are inside the black floorboard. This will be helpful so you can measure their spine with the inches at the bottom and place them in the x-ray tube. First picture, the central ray is directed at the top of the ear. In the second picture, the top of the light should be at the level of the iliac crest. For breathing instructions, tell them to hold their breath. Once the image is taken, the computer will automatically stitch the three images together into one long film, which demonstrates the entire spine. X radiograph would be a lateral. So we rotate the patient towards their left side, tell them to put their hands on the handle so they're out of the way from the spine, ensure no rotation and that both feet are inside the black floorboard to measure their spine. First direct the center ray at the top of the ear and then the top of the light at the level of the iliac crest. Breathing instructions would be to blow their breath out and hold it for shoulder depreciation. Here you see the entire spine in one film. Now, even though I didn't demonstrate no shielding for this exam, you could do a PA instead of an AP to reduce patient dose and still get the same results. Use the gonadal shielding equipment the hospital provides or if the x-ray tube does breast tissue collimation, do that as well. I hope this video was informative for you and thank you so much for watching.